Prior to beginning testing, it is necessary to ensure that all the reagents and equipment that are needed are available. For the analysis of osmolality on whole blood, serum, or plasma, the following equipment is needed. A 20 microliter sampler, a 50 microosmol per kilogram calibrator, as well as an 850 microosmol per kilogram calibrator, chamber cleaners, and sampler tips. The analyzer that is used is the fully automatic advanced microosmometer model 3MO. The calibration of the advanced microosmometer is a simple procedure involving the analysis of two calibration standards. If repeatability is acceptable, the instrument will automatically perform an internal calibration. The necessary calibration standards are the 50 microosmol per kilogram and the 850 microosmol per kilogram calibration standards. Prepare the sampler by attaching a tip. Depress the plunger and insert the tip into the 50 microosmol per kilogram solution. Slowly release the plunger to load 20 microliters into the tip. With an absorbent tissue, blot the size of the sampler tip to remove any excess fluid. To begin calibration, press the calibrate button. The display should show 50 microosmol per kilogram calibration. Remove the chamber cleaner from the sample port and insert the sampler in, making sure not to inject the sample into the instrument. Press the Start button. Do not remove the sampler until the test is complete. The amount of solutes in the sample will be determined by the technique of freezing point depression. The analysis of one sample will take approximately 60 seconds. When the test is complete, remove the sampler and insert a clean, dry sample cleaner, rotating it three or four times, and then discard it. Insert a clean chamber cleaner and leave it in place until ready for the next test. Continue running the calibration solution required by the instrument on the display until the instrument display shows calibration complete. After calibration is complete, Evaluation of the osmolality of whole blood, serum, or urine may take place. Follow the same technique outlined for the calibration. Attach a sample tip and draw up a sample. Wipe off the extra sample from the tip, remove the chamber cleaner, and insert the sampler. Press the Start button to begin testing. The analyzer will begin to supercool the sample several degrees below the freezing point of the sample before mechanically inducing the sample to freeze. This fusion reaction maintains the sample at equilibrium temperature, the freezing point. A sensitive thermistor probe measures the freezing point. The freezing point is one of four colligative properties of a solvent. When a solute is dissolved in a solvent, the freezing point of that solution is changed. The greater the concentration of a solute in solution, the more the freezing point of that solution will be depressed. When testing is complete, the port should now be cleaned. Wet a chamber cleaner with distilled water and insert it into the injection port. Rotate it three or four times before discarding it and insert a clean, dry sample cleaner, which should remain there until the next test. 